Yep. All right. Galatians chapter six. Yeah, we uh, we're glad we're able to have a children's church thing and do something for that guy and any other kids that come. And so if you've got any kids that you can bring, bring them and uh, continue to pray for Miss Sophia. She's she's learning to do this. She's doing a good job of it and uh, teaching. teaching. So, uh, my granddaughter's Yeah. So that's why, you know, we're going to her. Yeah. That's right. So that's where we were going. Yeah. Okay. Well, if if you bring her, try to let us know, you know, just so we can know who's going to be there that day if possible. Not that we don't want to, but, uh, yeah. but otherwise bring her and uh, she's, she's coming up. You know, with the lesson. Like oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's that's about the age Tyus is. He's six, I guess, and he's right around that age. So that's good. Amen. All right. This is part two of uh, of uh, gi giving and getting. We uh, started this uh, several weeks ago, and and um, but I want to give you some biblical principles on get getting or giving and getting. Galatians chapter six. Verses 7 through 10 says, be not deceived, God is not mocked. That means God means it when he says this, and he takes it seriously. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And that's a big part of this verse. A lot of times we don't reap fast enough and we give up or quit and um, or faint or, you know, we can't take it anymore. But you got to keep going because that reward or that thing that you're striving for, whatever, it may be right. It may be right there around the corner. Verse 10 says, as we have, therefore, opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. And so. Uh, as you have opportunity, do good to people, all people, especially Christian people that that know the Lord, that uh, uh, you know that, that they're going through things, and and they need some encouragement, some blessing as well. So let's pray. Our Father, I pray that you'd bless. Us. Morning, bless. Uh, open the Word of God to our hearts and minds. Bless uh, Sophia and the class and as they as they do their lessons and all, and have mercy and. Uh, help them to learn, help that to go well. And just bless our service, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, in it's it's 2022. It's hard to believe that it's 2022. Uh, I mean, it just it seemed like yesterday was Y2K, you know, <laughs> year 2000, and we were worried about the world shutting down and all of that. Now it's 22 years later. And uh uh what was 2021 like, though? What what was last year like? Was it good or bad? <laughs> Probably. I figured that would be the answer I'd get. There, there's some good things. Seemed like there's a lot of bad and crazy stuff. And and why were they good or bad? You know what? Was it good or bad because of what happened beyond your control, or was it good or bad because of what you did or didn't do? Lost a lot of people. That, that made it rough. Yep, yep. And we do have plenty to be thankful for. For and God is still on the throne. God is still in control, and that's what you know. That's what we have. And so, but we want to talk about giving, giving, and getting today. Did you give? Did you give anything in any way last year? Uh, did you give God what He required? What he asked for, what he wanted, or did you keep back? Did you hold on to what maybe you should have gave? God wants us to give. Talk about giving, and, and just give you a few thoughts on on what I was thinking when I was uh, writing it out. Just a few thoughts, and then we'll get into some of the principles, some of the next ones. Uh, we went over a couple of them the last time. Uh, 
But God wants us to give, not because he needs anything. Okay? You don't catch me preaching and harping all the time about, you need to pay your tithes because we got to pay our bills. <laughs> uh, I ain't going to do that. All right. And uh, God doesn't need any money. He doesn't need my dollar or whatever, how many dollars I can come up with. <laughs> and uh, uh, in fact, your tithes, he, he, he wants you to tithe not, it ain't because he can't manage finances, the finances of his church or whatever. Uh, that ain't even the issue. He wants you to give so that you'll have room to receive. So that you have more room to receive. If you're full, okay, if you've got everything you need and you're full and you're keeping it all to yourself, there ain't no room for you to get anymore. <laughs> you might say, well, I could use a whole lot more. Yeah, but we ain't going to.